This is volume in metric units. In the last video, we looked at the four units of U.S. customary um, volume. We had cups, pints, quarts, and gallons. Metric is the way that scientists in other countries uh, measure volume. We have two main units that we use in metric volume. That would be milliliters and liters. Now you're probably wondering how big are they? Well you already have some experience with liters because you might have before gotten a soda from the store in a two liter bottle. This is a two liter bottle. So one liter would of course be half of the two liter bottle. Um, there are plenty of other um, measurements or I mean items to tools that you will see in our classroom that can also measure a liter. The liter um, in this container comes up to here. Here's another liter container that would come up to here. This t very tall graduated cylinder, because it's tall and skinny, is also a liter. And then Miss Sellers let me borrow this liter container here. So each of these can hold a liter. And then finally, a milliliter is a very small amount. Uh, I have a dropper here, and if you look carefully, you can't see it on the video, but if you were to see in class C1, two right here is exactly a liter. So when you see a, I mean exactly a milliliter, and I'm going to put out for you a milliliter of water. Notice that it's just one big drop of water, several small drops of water. You can see it rolling all around. That is one milliliter of water. So the next thing that we need to know is how milliliters and liters are related. You need to know that 1,000 milliliters, 1,000 of from here down to the tip equals one liter. That makes sense because when you look at this graduated cylinder, if you were to look close, this is the liter line and you can also see here that it's marked with 1,000. So it takes 1,000 of those droppers to fill this huge graduated cylinder. This prefix milli means thousandth with a th, a decimal. So a milliliter is one thousandth of a liter. The liter is the main unit. And then when you add this prefix milli, that means take a, a thousandth of the main unit. You might be wondering how the liter and the milliliter compare to the US customary units that we learned in the last video. Well, it's pretty obvious to see that one cup is definitely bigger than the milliliter. The one cup is the biggest unit that we learned in the last one, but we also know that there are teaspoons and tablespoons. All of those are bigger than one milliliter. If you're curious in the D about the details, I looked it up and it takes 237 milliliters to, to make one cup. So 237 of those droppers would equal one cup. When you think about a quart and a liter, they are really, really close together. Look at this container. Um, on this side is measuring in milliliter, so this is the one liter. Turn around on the other side at almost the exact same spot. Here's where it marks one quart. If you hold the, hold this up and look though, you can see that the quart, the, the sorry, excuse me, the liter is just a little bit bigger. Um, here's an example of a place where it might be easier for you to see. On this one, the liter and the quart. This side is the liters, this side is the quart. And here you can see that the liter line is just a little bit higher than the quart line. So I had to think of a way that you could remember that. It might help to remember that the two words have ERs at the end of them. Liter is bigger. So let's use what we know about how milliliters and liters are related to see if we can complete these problems. I have 4,000 milliliters and I want to figure out how many liters that is. Well, if you draw that, so I have 1,000 milliliters and another 1,000 milliliters and another 1,000 milliliters and a fourth 1,000 milliliters, I know that this is one liter and this is a liter and this is a liter and this is a liter. So all together I have one, two, three, four liters. That was a pretty easy one. Here's a harder one. I have 350 milliliters. Well, I know that um, this is 350 milliliters out of 1,000 in order to make a liter. So this is like 350 out of 1,000. If I looked at my graduated cylinder, I would have a 350 out of the whole thing out of um, 1,000. So three, I could read this as 350 thousandths. 
and I could also write the decimal 350 thousandths. And then decimal dog said I could get rid of the zero. So this is 35 hundredths of a liter. And then finally, if I had two and a half liters, I'd wonder how many milliliters that was. Well, if I have one liter, that's also the same as 1,000 milliliters. The next, so I have two whole ones, so this would be 1,000 milliliters. And then a half of a liter would be half of the 1,000, or 5,500 milliliters. So 1,000 plus 1,000 plus 500 would be 2,000 500 milliliters in two and five tenths liters. I hope that you, or maybe you, um, I hope that you'll notice that you can use a shortcut. See how we have a four and a four and a 35 and a 35 and a 25 and a 25. I hope you will notice that when I go from milliliters to liter, the number gets smaller. Here, this went from 350 to a smaller number. And when I went from liters to milliliters, the number got bigger two and five tenths all the way up to 20, 2,500. Here's a shortcut if this will help you. If you're going from milliliters to liters, and that's what happened here, I can move the decimal three times to the left. So it would be like the decimal was here, and I can go one, two, three, and that would be four and a bunch of zeros, and I can get rid of those to make a four. Let's check to see if that worked here. I'm going from milliliters to liters. Here's my decimal. I can go over three times to the left. One, two, three, put my decimal there, and then get rid of the zero because of decimal dog. That works. And on the opposite is true. If you're going from liters to milliliters, you can move the decimal three times to the, whoops, I wrote left both times. I meant to say three times to the right. So let's watch how that happens. Here, I'm going from liters to milliliters. I can sort of pretend like there are a couple extra zeros here and go one, two, three times over and put my zero. And then I have 2,500, which is the same thing I ended up here when I drew a picture. So liters to, millimeter, liters to milliliters, go to the right. If you're doing milliliters to liters, take the decimal to the left.